we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Welcome to my channel. My name is Skye. I am the owner of our online interior decor shop called House and Home. Today I am sharing how we have created this little peg rail shelf behind me. I'm not really going to walk you through this step by step because we actually just recently created a similar shelf in our kitchen. So I'll link that for you guys if you want the step-by-step -step process of how to create one in your own home. But today we are hanging out in my dining room. I've had this wall empty for a while and just kind of been waiting till I decided exactly what I wanted to do with it. You guys know that I'm a big fan of peg rail shelving just because it gives such opportunity for decor. Your decor can be ever-changing with the seasons and you don't have to do much work. You just just hang a few things up that you love and swap them out with each new season. So I am all for these. I think these are so great and so versatile and functional. You can use these in like a laundry room. We actually have one of these in ours where we store more functional pieces like our broom and cleaning supplies and things like that. And then in here, we're really just going to use this space for decoration. I love to style my house and home products for you guys so you can get different ideas of how you could use these in your own home. And I also love to style other decor that I've gathered from different shops like Target and Amazon and Home Goods and all of those amazing home stores. So we are going to get started. I'm going to share each one of these pieces with you all. Some of these are new arrivals from House and Home, which is super exciting as always. And then a few pieces that we've had in the shop for a while. And then there's a few Target pieces mixed in as well. So before I start decorating a space in my home, I really like to get a vision and get an idea of what I want the finished product to look like. Now, don't get me wrong, I definitely play around with things for quite a while and end up rearranging things multiple times before I get it just right most times, but I do like to have a plan. So today I have gathered a basket full of items that I've collected from our shop and throughout our home that I would like to style these shelves with. So I'm going to go ahead and show those pieces to you so that you can get an idea of what we're working with. Here is the basket that I'm referring to. We are actually going to be using this for some of our decor. I love this basket so much. It is new from House and Home. So let me pull these pieces out so you can get a closer look. If you've been here for a few weeks, you know that I am loving these mini banners by Amani Collective. It is a business that is supporting artisans that are making these handmade in Kenya and they are providing employment for them as well as healthy meals and childcare and just empowerment, which is amazing. We have several of these banners in our shop in different styles. This super cute tote bag is from Amani Collective as well. It is handmade and it's got leather straps. It really is just so beautiful. Perfect for the picnic, the beach, farmer's market, play date, library, or just hanging on your walls like I'm going to do. It is such a great bag. Next up is this tea towel set from House and Home. These are brand new. They just arrived on our doorstep yesterday and I am so excited about them. They pair together so nicely and they are sold as a set. So there's these beautiful flowers. I've got it hanging upside down. <laughs> these are actually handmade in Australia. They are gorgeous. And then the one that goes with it here is this beautiful charcoal and ivory striped tea towel. So these are so pretty and I cannot wait to have these hanging on my shelves. 
And one of our most popular items in our shop is our mango wood cutting board. We actually just got a new and larger size, which is this here that I have. It is so beautiful. It's got this pretty ivory enamel on the top, and then this is mango wood. This would make for the perfect charcuterie board or cheese and cracker tray. You could throw some appetizers or desserts on here. This is just such a good staple piece to have in your kitchen. These new little measuring cups are my absolute favorite. I love them so much. They have this little black enamel on the lip and then they have some measurements on the inside. I cannot get over how much I love these and how cute and farmhouse cottage style they are. They look so pretty styled in my kitchen and I can't wait to add some to my dining room as well. You guys know that I love to decorate with white pitchers and I love to kind of mix and mash my pitchers when I'm decorating if I'm putting them on shelving or if I'm using them in my kitchen or even on a peg roll shelf like this. So this is just our solid white creamer pitcher. It's perfect. It's super basic and neutral and it goes literally in any space. These two look so cute together so I cannot wait to style them on that shelf. I also have this super cute little Beechwood kitchen brush. It's got a little leather tie. I think it is so stinking cute and perfect for these shelves. And of course, I am pulling out my oatmeal chambray oven mitt. This one comes in two colors. We also have a charcoal. It is just such a neutral, beautiful piece to add some texture to this space. Okay, we're coming up on the last couple of items that I'm going to be using to style this peg rail. I have this super cute little market tote. This is perfect for a quick trip to the grocery store or the farmer's market, or even as a little beach bag, you could throw a little towel and some sunscreen in there. It really is just so cute and so delicate. I love these little totes. I also threw some greens in there just to give a little bit of color to this wall. These are little fig leaves from Target. So they're super cute. I have just bent the ends here so that they fit in my little market tote, which I think is going to be so cute. And last but not least, this is our hand woven basket tray that I have been pretty much using all over my home. The colors tie in perfectly with the colors in our house. They're very neutral and I think that this is the perfect basket for a centerpiece on your dining table. If you watched our last video, in fact, you saw that's exactly what I'm doing with mine. I also have one on my coffee table and you can use it to hang it on your wall. It is huge as you can tell and it is just so beautiful and so functional. All right, so those are the pieces that I'm gonna be using to decorate my peg rail shelf. I hope that this gives you some decor inspiration. All of these pieces make for the perfect summer decor because they're all light, bright, and airy, pretty neutral. I've got some pops of greens in there. You could add in some fresh flowers or some faux flowers, some plants, whatever you want if you want your space to be a little bit more colorful. But this is such nice neutral decor that really could work in any space. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to decorating. I am going to time lapse this for you guys and kind of voice over a little bit, just letting you know my thought process behind where I am putting everything and I will see you soon. When styling a large peg rail like this one, I like to create balance by evenly spacing out larger items. So I'm placing my biggest piece in the center and working my way out from there. My favorite trick to making a space feel cozy is adding a variety of textures while still keeping a cohesive color palette so that everything looks nicely together. You'll see me play around with this for a bit, which is usually how it is when I'm decorating. Sometimes I'll sit on it for a few hours, up to even a few days. If something doesn't feel just right, I'll just continue moving things around until I love it. That's the beauty of decorating your own home. You have the freedom to make it a space that you love. Like I said before, creating a pig rail shelf like this is super simple and can really make a huge impact in any space, from an entryway to a bathroom to the kitchen and even more. I will link our peg rail tutorial video in the description below so that you guys can make one of these in your own home if you're loving it like I am. I am really just obsessing over this peg rail right now and have loved using it in different areas of our home and being able to swap out the decor with each season. 
I hope that you'll find some inspiration as I am decorating ours. I am so happy with how this pegrella is turning out. Do you guys love it? I think it's really transforming this space and I'm just so happy seeing the pops of green and the different textures that I've added. I think that it just totally completes this space. I am so excited to enjoy this decor for the summer and I can't wait to add touches of fall and Christmas decor in the coming months. Speaking of fall, when do y'all start shopping for fall decor? Leave me a comment below and let me know. I am currently curating our fall launch and would love to know what you guys would like to see in our shop. So definitely take a second if you have it and leave me a comment and let me know when you guys start shopping for fall decor and what you would like to see in our shop. All right, friends, that is all for this video. As always, thank you guys so much for your support of our channel and of our small business. I am so thankful for each one of you. Please check out the description if you're interested in any of the links for these products and make sure that you give this video a like and that you are subscribed to our channel so you can see more weekly videos. I hope that you all have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next one.